So, I moved on to video number two now, and in this video, I'd just like to talk to you about some things connected to my autism, uh, which I just wanted to share with you, um, just to find out if any of you can relate. So, I don't know if any of you can relate to this, but I often, um, I have a, a kind of, um, I don't know what you can call it, psychologically speaking, but I get very defensive and um, reactional, I react, and I get very defensive when I feel that people are, um, I'm trying to find how to explain this without it coming across wrong, but when people, I feel, um, don't understand or misrepresent my autism or what I experience or the extent of my challenges um, and I'm not entirely sure why I get so defensive um, I can kind of guess but I'm not entirely sure why um, so to give you an example recently someone said to me um, that I won't say obviously I won't say who it was because you know confidentiality and all that and they said it as a compliment I think and with the intent of trying to help me um, and you know with the best intentions they're a nice person and I get on with them so it's got nothing to do with them as a person they're a nice person they mean well and I know that and I understand that and respect that so the issue is really to do with me and how I deal with it and I know it's my problem ultimately but not much I could do about it um, I get defensive so what they said was they said that basically I'm very good at communicating how I feel, my thoughts and feelings, that I'm very good at communicating my thoughts and feelings, even to a new person who I don't know particularly well yet, but I'm very good at communicating my thoughts and feelings to them. So I, um, I think, you know, that was intended as a compliment, um, saying, you know, that I conveyed myself well to them, that they understood me, that I'm articulate, that I can convey myself. And I think that's what they meant, and I'm sure, you know, and I, and I realise I'm over-interpreting it. But what goes through my mind when someone says that is I get a lot of trigger, I get triggered, because I try and work out what they mean by it, and I start to try and work out if there's any ulterior stuff going on. Are they, try, are they implying by what they say that I don't have any issues or I don't have any struggles with um, communication when obviously that's part of my autism and, you know, when you're autistic, obviously you do have challenges in that area because it's part of the diagnostic criteria. So are they implying by that statement that uh, my problems are mild and they're trying to imply that um, uh, how can I put it? Uh, that basically, yeah, I'm a mild case, or that, um, or also I'm not entirely sure how to take it. And then I also find it I, I feel a little bit patronised by it because then I think if I wasn't autistic, would they make the same comment to someone who wasn't autistic? who had simply been talking about how, how we experience the world, would I get that same compliment? So is it basically a jab at my autism? Would it happen if I wasn't autistic? Um, but I was assured recently by someone else who I told this to, at a group I go to, that before they knew they were autistic, they were often complimented on this all the time, when the person complimenting them obviously didn't know they were autistic. So maybe it's not got nothing to do with being autistic. You know, just generally as a compliment. But I then start to doubt myself. Um, I because I, I've got a lot of kind of. So I think I think a name for it is imposter syndrome. I've googled imposter syndrome. I don't completely uh, fall into it because. But one of the aspects of imposter syndrome, which obviously does involve self doubt, but is also yeah, it's it's the sense, isn't it, of being found out, or that you basically, or that other people can see through you, or is to do with other people not taking you seriously, but also other people sort of misrepresenting you and um, overestimating your abilities when they don't really actually know you and then it's kind of a sense of cognitive dissonance because you feel you're being misrepresented. 
um, and that you can never represent yourself well because you're always not giving a true picture of who you are and in a sense of kind of doubt. A lot of actors experience it apparently. I don't know, I mean I relate to parts of it but I don't think I'm, I feel like an imposter as such because I, you know, I don't doubt myself really. It's more that I don't like other people misrepresenting me or when I feel that they're not understanding the entirety of who I am is when I feel misrepresented. And I think it's got something to do with the fact, probably actually is connected to my autism, in that I'm a very literal person, so I like things to be represented accurately. And when I feel that something is a bit off or a bit not completely true or accurate, and particularly when it's to do with my own character, I can feel quite threatened because I feel, hang on a minute, this person has said something which actually isn't really completely true. It's not like the, even if they're intending it as a compliment, but it's not like completely true. And that eats away at me because I like things to be true. I like things to be 100% like spot on. Um, so do let me know because obviously I do struggle a lot with communication because I'm autistic. But because I can talk really well, uh, because speaking, language, at least um, literal language, words, I'm very good at that, that's a strength of mine, I've got a very high verbal IQ, I'm, I've got a very high verbal IQ, I'm very good at um, words and language, it's just one of my strengths, it's just something I am good at. Unfortunately I don't have a joined up profile, so although I'm very good at words and I've just got a natural memory for words and meanings like my brain's almost a bit like a dictionary in that respect it just stores words it's kind of useless really it's not like I could do much with it um and then people are like wow you're really articulate you can talk really well and I often feel though that that then becomes a problem because I sort of feel people focus on the fact I can talk really well and then they don't understand my difficulties and my problems and all of my life I've had this issue where I've really struggled obviously with the social side but be and, and other things, um, life in general, executive functioning, all of that, organisation. Um, and people have been aware of these problems, it's not like they weren't aware of them. I mean, school were aware of them, primary school were aware of them. That's why I got assessed by an educational psychologist when I was nine. You know, I was quite relieved actually when my mum showed me a report because I was like, okay, so other people have noticed it too, I'm not just imagining things. Because obviously, you know, if educational psychologists notice I have problems, well, clearly it's just not... It's not just in my head, you know, I do actually have problems because I thought they wouldn't have called in educational psychology when I was at school. Um, but it's like, although that's the case, because I can talk really well and I present myself as like very, I guess you could say, typical, normal, I can do, um, I sort of feel that my problems are underestimated and that then that makes me doubt myself because I know as someone who lives with my problems every day that I have really quite significant problems which are at the moment accommodated and I'm very lucky and very fortunate that I have a kind of shield of support around me. If I didn't have my dad helping me and I didn't have that shield of support I'd be a lot more disadvantaged but because I've got that shield of support around me I can live with my problems and I can live an okay life. If I didn't have that shield of support around me my life would be very difficult because I can't organise myself, I can't, there's so many things I really struggle with and I need support with but currently that's being accommodated because I've got this support around me and I don't know, I hate to think what would happen if I didn't have that support because I don't have to do it all on my own and there's so many things I struggle with and things just get to tat. Um, but because I can talk really well, people don't notice it, they don't see it and I think then I feel my problems being underestimated so then, and it's not like I want to go around just like a parading my problems saying look I've got all these problems blah blah blah, not at all because autism isn't just a catalogue of problems, it also contains you know, it's a whole complex thing, and it's not like I live a bad life or anything, and I don't want people to pity me or anything, I have a good life, you know, and I'm autistic, and but I'm a happy autistic, I mean, happy, happy in inverted commas, you know, I'm content, you know, I live my life, I mean, my life is hard, it's stressful, but, you know, I'm not depressed or anything, I live an okay life, but it's just like, I just want people, I think, to acknowledge my autism, and to accept that I do, despite the fact that I can talk really well, I do have difficulties and I'm not mild, but I often feel, and I think this is the issue, is that I often feel that people through my life have underestimated my problems and kind of, and I don't like that because it's not accurate and because my problems are actually pretty, I do have challenges, people are close enough to me know that, but people who don't spend a lot of time with me don't know it because they're not close, they're just focused on the fact I can talk, they're just focused on appearances. 
because they're not up close and personal with me. So I often feel in my life that I'm having to kind of fight my corner. But even when I, even probably in situations where I actually don't have to fight my corner and I should just accept compliments, I still feel like in battleground territory because it re-triggers all these times where people have said similar things in a way to belittle me or to imply I don't have problems, I guess I'm a mildly effective and actually I'm not, I'm disabled, I can't even work. But it's, I don't know, and it's, it's a really complicated issue, but do let me know what you think and whether any of you have experienced this kind of imposter kind of syndrome thingy, the sense of self-doubt people aren't taking you seriously and I do think it comes from a lifetime of having to battle and the fact I was diagnosed late and the fact I have a lot of inner, not anger as such, but it's been my life, you know, I'm not an angry person really, I don't know if it's anger but more just annoyance or kind of frustration is probably a better way of putting it, frustration that people when I was growing up let me down when actually, if they had given me the right support, I may well be in job right now, I may be working, I would probably be a lot less today than I am, if I'd received the right support when I was growing up at school. With my anxiety um, and all of that, I could I could have reached my potential. I could have actually done a lot more. I could have gone on and done a PCGE and other things because a lot of it was the fact I wasn't um, given the right support. So I developed a lot of anxiety and obviously now that's really difficult to undo, in particular I've got COVID and all things, so I'm worried about but it's not an issue. Um, but yeah, I think it's just always pent up frustration and when I'm going to often feel kind of like I'm having to constantly show people that actually know I do have issues, listen to me, just because I could talk it doesn't, and I'm constantly feeling like I'm having to show that in a way that maybe I wouldn't have to if I felt that other people actually fully understood me and I think it's just a sense that I feel like it's understood because I can talk well and people just focus on that and while it should just be a compliment, I should just accept it, I'm always feeling I'm having to battle my corner. I wish I didn't, but I think it's just this pent up frustration and it re-triggers me and it's been having a lifetime of being let down. It kind of plays on you. So, yeah, just let me know what you think really. I'll be interested to know. So, thank you for watching.